Yo boys, what's going on? I'm just going to show you guys how to make a script anti-cheat. We're going to do a speed check today. Um, it's a pretty simple speed check and it detects a lot of modules on, on Sigma. Sigma is a good example of this, ant or this check because vanilla speed flags it, Viper MC, slow hop, um, I think Y port, mine men invaded, Gomi, and I think test speed, and then for flies, um, vanilla, mineplex, um, omega, viper, velt, hawk, libra, every single one of these flag it, except for like, which one, so every fly is detected, I think, except for, I think for j jetpack is the only one, and bow, bow's kind of weird though, so, all right. So yeah, let's get right into the check. So first off, we're going to get the delta xz. So we're going to do square root. I would usually do get delta xz, but I'm not going to do that for you guys. If you don't know what delta xz is, it's the last x-coordinate, or the current x-coordinate minus the last one. It's pretty easy to do. This function's run on a move event, and you store their locations in variables. All right, so we're going to do delta xz squared, and then delta, or delta x squared plus a delta z squared and if you don't know what I'm doing in here just don't worry you don't really need it but it's just it makes my life a lot easier if I have these functions that get the values for me you don't have to do that though okay so now we're gonna set the difference to I have this thing called round two I will show you guys how to make that pretty much rounds it to a certain decimal point the number so we're going to do 7, and then we're going to times it by 10 million, I think it is. Yes, 10 million. Okay. So, for the round 2 function, we're going to give it a number. Or don't know what I'm doing. The fuck? And then the number that you want to round it to, or the amount that you want to round it to. So, if I want to round this number, which that there to seven decimal points I'm gonna use this function okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna return round n times 10 to the power of r and then divide that by 10 to the power of r pretty simple stuff uh, just if you don't know what this is doing you're stupid all right like I'm sorry I tried to explain it it's not very difficult okay so now, let's just broadcast, um, let's just broadcast normal round that, okay. So, as you can see, all the numbers, just look at the last like three or four numbers. Look how they're almost never like ran or never zero. Like I think when you start sprinting, sometimes you get this and that is like the only thing that you really get. But if I turn on, for example, vanilla speed, lowest, look at that. It's all rounded incorrectly. And this gets a lot of speeds. I'll do another one that I know of, slow hop. A lot of people don't know how to detect something like this. Simple as that. You just check for that. So now, what's another one? I think Viper. Yep, Viper does it. Like, Cubecraft does it. Like a lot of speeds do it um i think test speed actually does it um maybe not no test speed actually is decent okay what else does it on the speeds invaded does it um and i think mineman does it and y port does it i'll show you guys that too look at that see so yeah, it's pretty easy to detect that type or that type of stuff so I'll show you how to actually detect it now. So we have difference. We're gonna check if difference is greater than a hundred thousand, just to filter out some falses, you know, because that one false like this. Yeah, it's it's pretty simple. We could do a million, but actually we should do a million. I think that's actually what I put, right? That's yeah, that's what I'm supposed to put. My bad. All right. So if it's greater than it. And we'll do, there's a false that I want to filter out, which is 15 million. 
As you can see, 15 million. Is it 15 million? Uh, 1.5 million. Yeah. Okay, 1.5 million is a false on a ladder. If you're moving around on a ladder, it, it does that one. There's probably maybe like other falses like in water, but I don't think so. Like I've tried it a lot and it doesn't seem to false ever. If there is, you can just check other stuff. Like it's not a big deal. So now we're going to check if difference divided by 100 equals round difference divided by 100. And that pretty much just checks if when you divide it by 100, it equals the same thing as if you divide it by 100 and round it which it shouldn't because if you divide a normal movement by 100 it will have decimal places and if you divide a cheating movement by 100 and then round it it won't have decimals or you know what i mean like it won't equal the same thing so now we're just going to broadcast cheating and we'll put the value so now let's see can we set off that false yeah there's no false now if we turn on speed, instantly, we're just spamming flags. Turn on vanilla, zero, speed. Every type of speed on vanilla flags, but I just like doing zero because it's funny. Um, and then I'll show off some flies. So vanilla fly, pretty easy. As you can see, it's flagging. Um, high pixel, yep, it does the same thing. Let's try... Oh, let's try um, Spartan. This is a little bit of a weird cheat to detect. As you can see, it does the same thing. And let's do Gomi. Gomi does it every once in a while, as you can see. Actually, that's a good amount, to be honest. So you could probably flag off that easily with a normal buffer. That does it. I think I'm actually, I know, what am I doing? I was showing off the wrong thing, but pretty much everything is detected on here. Like, let's try Horizon. This one is detected. Um, let's do Mind Men. Am I? Um, oh, my bad, my bad. I fucking hate this client. But yeah. Almost every fly is detected. So yeah. Now on Liquid Bounce, it's a little different. Only like some checks on the, or some cheats on there are detected liquid bounce developer is actually pretty smart so he fixed this and a lot of stuff but uh any cheat that the developer either hasn't updated in a while or just doesn't know what they're doing for example sigma it's gonna flag so it will get a lot of cheats so now let's actually flag for it so we're gonna set flag to true and we're now going to do if flag equals true we're gonna do my function called flag, flag player for check. We're gonna do a max VL until they get banned of 10. I'm gonna give it the info. And then we're going to do a verbose. If you don't know what a verbose is, it's pretty much a violation level system before they actually flag. So this will pretty much add, we're gonna do four. We gotta provide what check it's for. So every time they, fail it's going to add four and it's going to max out at 12 and once it reaches 12 it's going to start flagging so what this does it just checks if this is greater than 12 and if it's not then it's not going to do anything and if it is it's going to flag so now if they didn't flag we're going to take the same function and we're going to remove let's do two actually we'll remove two from it so pretty much any false is going to just actually we can do one any false will be filtered out very easily by this. Um, it's a very good system. If you don't have something like this, then your anti-cheat's probably not the greatest. So you should probably do something like that. All right. So let's reload and now let's turn on anything, any speed or anything, and it will false. It's not false. It will flag. My bad. But yeah, everything flags pretty much i think just high pixel no high pixel does not flag because high pixels fixed this on their anti-cheat a long time ago a lot of anti-cheats have i don't know how some of these were ever a bypass yeah, as you can see yeah 
very easy check to do so yeah hope you guys learned something and hope you guys like the check and if you like this video let me know i'll do more of this type of thing where i show you guys how to make an anti-cheat it's pretty fun i like making script anti-cheats all right so yeah peace out